Hey guys, so super successful program registers 10,000 migrants in six days. Immigration. All right, guys, uh, prepare to get mad. All right, serious. Spoiler alert: it's not it's not good for for United States. But here we go. Immigration authorities have now registered more than 10,000 migrants at the southern border as part of a new government program that has been described by an official as super successful. The National Immigration Institute announced on Twitter today that it registered 8,446 requests for humanitarian visas from adult migrants currently in Chiapas and 1,897 uh, requests from minors in just six days. Many of the migrants uh, crossed into Mexico last week as part of a new caravan that left San Pedro Sula, Honduras on January 14th returned to the border crossing to regularize their immigration status. Some returned in buses provided today by the federal government. Of 10,343 migrants, 75% are from Honduras, while most of the, the remainder are from Guatemala and El Salvador, although the total also includes a small number of Nicaraguans, Haitians, Brazilians, and Cubans now. INM Chief Tonatio Guillen told the newspaper La Jornada that he, the initiative to offer humanitarian visas to the immigrants Migrants has been successful and will continue explaining that it is part of the federal government's new immigration policy. I, don't, I understand that for Donald Trump, it's not his ideal scenario that he prefers another vision, but this is Mexico's sovereignty decision, and we hope that it also has an impact on reducing human trafficking, he said. It's been a super successful program. It's really establishing a new paradigm in Mexico's immigration policy that is based on Mexico's laws and the country's international commitments, Gillian added. It's, it's, it's like if he's throwing the UN at him, like in his face, like, you know what? We're cooperating, like, with, I guess. Ah, uh, whatever. The humanitarian visas, which allow migrants to work in Mexico and access periods for a, a period of 12 months, and issued five days after the INM re receives their request. So, request. So that's when I was telling you guys that it, it, it was 30 days. It was, it was a month that they had to wait, but now it's five days. Once in possession of the visa, the migrants are able to move legally through the country, meaning that if their goal is to apply for asylum in the United States, they can travel to the northern border. What? How you like that? How you like them apples? Damn, that's, that's crazy. Continuing the story, the objective on our part is for their entry to be regular, for all of them to have their legal situation in order, and for them to consider Mexico as an alternative for employment, Gillian said while in Chiapas to overseeing the, oversee the issuing of visas. I'm still stuck on that, so they're basically letting, letting them go to the United States. You know what I mean? Like, they, they know, well, we know, Mexico knows that they want to go to the United States, so we're basically letting them, opening the doors for them. <laughs> uh, all right, and that's coming from a Mexican-American. Like, honestly, that's, that's the truth. They're, they're basically saying, you know what, either you guys can stay right here, have, have an opportunity here, or you guys could, you know, try your luck in the United States. That's... Honestly, that's pretty real. That's that's pretty real. All right, but we're going to continue, right? We're going to continue. And added the benefit of the visa scheme, he said, oh, hold on. To, the objective on our part is, the, is for, oh, no, I read that already. I'm sorry. An added benefit of the visa scheme, he said, was that it allows authorities to know who is in the country. For the first time, we're going to know who had crossed into Mexico, and obviously we'll have the possibility of identifying those who have a legal problem in Mexico or in another country, Gideon said. Thousands of Central American migrants are already in cities on Mexico's northern border, especially in Tijuana, where they face long waits for the opportunity to request asylum with the United States authorities. It is unclear how many of the cohort currently in Chiapas will also attempt to reach the Mexico-U.S. border and how many will choose to remain in Mexico. Salvadorian uh, migrant Aura Chigini, sorry, who is traveling with her five-month-old daughter, told CBS News that I was going to say something else told CBS News today that she saw the humanitarian visa as a means to get the United States and that she remained determined to do so. What well, I'm telling you guys. However, uh, however, an Honduran woman said that she would stay in Mexico because Trump want people, doesn't want people like her in the United States. She said she hoped to, able, to be able to find a better paying job in Mexico and that Honduras where she earned just $2 washing dishes. Trump, who has accused Mexico of doing not, nothing to stop the migrants from reaching the United States southern border, is currently locked in a bitter battle in the United States over funding for his long-promised border wall. Building a wall? Build a wall and crime will fall, he tweeted. Damn, so we're going to add new segments to my videos. Overview? You guys are, you guys are effed.
<laughs> what can I say? Mexico is basically saying what I just said. You guys can have the opportunity to be right here in Mexico, try your luck, or, or try your luck in the United States. You guys, you guys got those two options. So a border wall is not going to work if your laws accept asylum seekers. I mean, it's going it's to help with smuggling, though. It's going to help with, with that stuff, but... I'm trying to add. I'm trying to add some light to this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to add some light to this because <laughs> that's messed up. That's messed up. It's. I feel like it is part of the UN Migration Compact plan. I don't know. Someone's trying to sabotage the United States or something. But yeah, they use Mexico. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Like, what about if the UN used Mexico as like a um, a vessel to send their you know their sabotage or I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm becoming a, a conspiracy theorist. I'm sorry. All right, that's that's uh, my overview for today. On this video, that's gonna be new in this videos, but damn, that's crazy. So they're just letting them pass through Mexico, man. Mm, that's crazy. All right, so catch you guys later. Right, this this video is uh, it's like it's the end. It's it's not the end, but like it's the end of of the whole like oh what's gonna happen like that's it, bro. Mexico is basically opening the doors. Now it's up to you guys if you guys want to accept asylum seekers or change the law. You know what I mean? That's basically it.